there are lots of ways of applying the paint that you wouldn't actually necessarily think of and these can give some really interesting effects. A screwed up polythene bag can be really good. Make sure you've got it really well screwed up though and you'll get a really interesting effect. So all you have to do is go like that all over the film. And the kind of effect that you're looking for is this effect here. Another interesting thing that you can use to stipple with, surprisingly, is bubble wrap. And all you need to do is just get a piece of bubble wrap like this, just fold it over like this, and then apply it put quite straight on like that. Just make sure you come straight down onto it though like that otherwise it can smudge too much. But the kind of effect that you're going to end up with is this. Another effective way to decorate is using a stippling brush or sponges. Now, stippling brushes and sponges, some people think they're actually quite similar, and I suppose I do too, but you get some really interesting effects with them. Now, this is an area I've done with the stippling brush. That's this area just here. And now I'm going to move on to a sponge. And this sponge has actually got quite a smooth texture on it, and this area here was done with that sponge. So I'm just going to continue that area along. Like that and this has got a quite a coarse underside to it so we're just going to get a coarse effect now by just turning it over that's that very area there now as you can see this whole piece is masked off so that when we finish this we can take the masking tape off and we'll be left with a really interesting effect and uh, it'll all be in squares. Now that's a good way of doing a window. Now this sponge is quite an open poured sponge and that area there has been done with this one so I'm just going to pick up some more colour and go over there like that with it. Colours. As you can see, they're mixing quite well together. And lastly, on this piece, I'm going to use a natural sponge, which again will be even more open poured. And this area here has been done using that sponge. Another thing that you can do is mask off a glass and we've chosen a spiral type effect with this one and then you can just sponge in between the, the masking tape with the paint and the effect that we're looking for is like this glass here. Once your window section is dry, you can pull off the masking tape, but try and keep it close to the, uh, the glass or the plastic that you're pulling it from, and that way you get a nice clean line as you pull it off. If you try and pull the tape up too far in the air, it will actually give a jagged finish, and this way you'll get a nice clean line, like that. Now. As you look at that, you can see all the different textures of all the sponges and brushes that I used when I was making that piece. And uh, likewise, you can see the similar effects with this. And again, just pull it close to the glass so that you're actually getting nice clean lines as you pull around. <laughs> 